Okay, so if you're watching this video, you obviously found it because it was named after Antivirus Pro, which means you either have an infection of Antivirus Pro on your computer or you have something similar. Probably um, over time, as this video gets older, you'll probably have a variation on your computer. Um, we're going to show a couple things uh, that you'll probably see with the infection. Yours may not look exactly like this, but you'll probably see some of these scan options running through on the computer and uh, that'll be something that you'll see a lot of with the different variants. At this point, uh, this is in uh, September of 2009, the people that are producing these are coming out with strains of it every few, every few days or weeks and um, have turned it into quite the uh, franchise. The, there's been uh, Antivirus 360, um, Antivirus 2009, Antivirus 2009 Pro, Antivirus 2010 just came out, and all these are, of course, are rogue installers. They're, they're um, somewhere between a virus and and a and a spyware and then they're also attempting to get money from you directly uh, by getting you to buy it um, if unfortunately you have purchased this product you need to immediately contact your bank or your credit card company and get rid of this um, this um, charge off your card and possibly change your card number what you see here is we've installed a flash drive and we cover that in another video um, how to download the free tools that we're going to use to get rid of this product and uh, so we're going to go to this flash drive and again how to how to use the flash drive is covered in another video you'll see that we have spybot search and destroy we have uh, malwarebytes which is another great free program uh, combo fix uh, smith fraud and a vast antivirus you'll see here that i'm unchecking several of the options here uh, for for quick ease of use um, i personally find the tea timer on spybot annoying especially if you have another antivirus out there so since we have a, a fairly mild infection in Antivirus um, Pro here, uh, we're going to load uh, Spybot Search and Destroy with some other variations of the virus. You don't actually get the option to even get on the internet. So if that's where you're at, you may have to manually download the updates for Spybot, which we also cover in another video. So here we, you see us updating Spybot, running these updates. And while that's doing that, we'll make sure that it's going to take off from the first server. It looks like it is. And from here, we're going to go on with another install. So we're going to go ahead and launch the Malwarebytes install. And Malwarebytes is a program you can actually buy. We cover how to um, how to purchase that in another video as well. Um, we're good buddies with uh, with the Malwarebyte here on uh, on uh, YouTube and other video sites. And uh, so this is a great program as well. Uh, does very similar uh, scanning to Spybot Search and Destroy, which is world renowned, and Malwarebytes is quickly making a name for itself as well. Um, well worth calving. You see here where the, both uh, Spybot and Malwarebytes are updating simultaneously here. Uh, this particular computer that's infected has a, a fairly decent DSL uh, connection, so we're actually able to multitask on it, which is kind of handy. And uh, while that's running, we actually recorded this for some of you who've been asking. We record our videos in uh, Cam Studio. So now you'll see that we're actually going to launch the installer for Avast. Now this is the free home edition. It's going to download the actual program. And uh, we'll start this off because it's going to take some time. And once uh, Spybot finishes and Malwarebytes finishes, the rest of this download will speed up pretty quick. So... Uh, here we're going to copy uh, Combo Fix and uh, Smith Fraud to the desktop. Uh, this, by the way, for those of you who are curious, is a Windows XP Home Edition machine. Uh, we actually uh, built this one up. Uh, you'll notice, you might notice down there that uh, it's actually on a trial version of Windows, um, but it's Windows XP, and. Uh, um, we built this thing up and allowed it to become infected deliberately as a test machine so that you could see what this is going to do. So here you see that the different uh, downloads are going. A word quickly about um, Combo Fix and uh, Smith Fraud. They've been around for a while, but they do a great job of helping to get rid of some of these things. Notice that the, uh, the Avast download has just started. The main reason we're using Avast is because of its boot time scan capabilities, which gets out of the way of uh, the virus. The virus itself cannot really get in the way of it. Here we're getting ready to open the registry editor. Notice I fat fingered regedit, R-E-G-I-D-I-T. Uh, from here, once we're in, the way to get to it, by the way, is to go to start on XP and then run, type in R-E-G-I-D-I-T. 
uh, and then once we're into the program, we're going to walk through it. On Vista, you'll actually hold down the Windows key and hit R. The Windows key is typically two keys to the left on the keyboard, to the left of the uh, space bar on the keyboard. And uh, here you see we're in H key local machine. We're going down to software. From there, we're going down to Microsoft. And from there, we're going down to Windows. From there to current version. And then from there to run. And what we're looking for is the actual, and the only thing that you need to delete here is this. We're only looking for this infection, and it's named after the Antivirus Pro. So uh, Malwarebytes there, by the way, just finished its update, so it wins the update process. We'll launch it in just a second. But we're going to click on it, and then we're going to hit Delete. You can also right-click alternately and hit Delete, and then Yes. We're only deleting that key. Now that path that we just went to, sometimes we'll have a run once underneath it that you might check for something as well. And now we're going to go all the way back up to the top of the registry and we're going to H key local machine. And then if you notice, we're going to the same path, software, Microsoft, Windows, uh, current version, and then run. It's the same path, except it's, it affects instead of your profile on the computer and what the computer does for you directly, it affects the whole machine, what's, what's happening for the machine itself and other profiles. So here you'll notice that the uh, SpyBot has just finished all of its updates. SpyBot's then going to relaunch. And now we're going to talk a little bit about the prefetch folder. The prefetch folder is found in Windows XP and in Windows Vista. You can go start run, type in prefetch, P R E F E T C H. Here we've gone edit, select all, edit, delete. We're going to get rid of all of the contents of the prefetch folder. And then it doesn't hurt anything. The prefetch is just Windows' way of finding things more rapidly. And unfortunately, a lot of viruses and spyware park their junk in the prefetch folder. Also, once in the prefetch, uh, files seldom come out of prefetch, so it's a good thing to clean from time to time. Um, so here we have SpyBot launching. We're going to get rid of the little notice there, and we're going to start the immunize process. The immunize process is unique to SpyBot. It's, it's a really neat function. Notice uh, this is version um, 162, and it has a small glitch. When you click on immunize, uh, even with a browser closed, it doesn't automatically immunize, so you have to click it again but great program and it actually goes into your browser like a uh, booster shot and prevents uh, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of infections from even uh, coming onto your computer. So once it finishes, notice here we're, we're checking on our download of uh, Avast, which takes a while, and it's now the only thing downloading, but here we're going to finish with SpyBot and then we're going to begin a scan with Malwarebytes. We want to perform the full scan. We want to select the hard drive. Notice that at the bottom it lists another drive, but that's our flash drive. What's going to happen here is Malwarebytes is going to run in the background while we're waiting on the Avast program to download. And that's actually one of the best times to run Malwarebytes in, in the way that we're doing this is because Avast would kind of get in the way of its scan. The two of them don't uh, coexist real well. But since it's still downloading, there's no reason not to do it. And so here we are going to go ahead and close out of SpyBot now that we've immunized. We'll come back on a restart and actually run uh, SpyBot. And I'll actually show you how um, you, can, you can actually run SpyBot from um, a restart of your computer. It actually runs similar to Avast before you get into Windows itself. So here we are waiting on Avast to download. We're going to take a break and come back in a couple minutes. See you in just a sec.